The Delgath of Dagger Tail. Written by D.G. Collins. Performed by Jeff Clement. Rick had enjoyed being the pub arsehole tonight. Rude songs had been sung, uptight bastards had been mocked, and despite repeated slaps, the waitress delivering his chicken wings had been repeatedly groped. Now, reminiscing over what a lovely evening it had been as he weaved around the trash bins lining the street, Rick ignored the small group of young people who went running by. Then they slid to a stop behind him. Delgath, one of them called. The Delgath of Daggertail! Rick wobbled around to see what the shouting was about and found them all looking at him. Ah, oh, Christ, he muttered, observing their outfits. Wearing tattered cloaks and piecemeal armor, they looked like rejected extras from a Tolkien movie. I've heard of this, Rick said. This, uh, a lark, right? No, a lerp? Uh... Then he snapped his fingers. No, wait. It's a larp. You're a bunch of larpers. Which is to say, twats. A portly young man stepped forward and bowed. Friend Delgath, he said. My name is Baratin. We have traveled many worlds and are now in dire need of your assistance. Rick cocked an eyebrow. <laughs> Baratin, eh? He poked the kid's stomach. Well, someone ought to bar you from a tin. The biscuit tin. One of the kid's companions spoke up. Baratin, are you certain he's the Delgath of Daggertail? She asked. Yes, princess. The prophecy was specific. Heed the dragon mark upon his cheek. Rick rolled his eyes and raised his poking finger to Baratin's chest. That's hot wing sauce, you little shite, which makes me the Dalgath of Sawed All. Now leave off. Baratin responded by whisking aside his cloak and withdrawing a glowing short sword. He thrust the hilt into Rick's hand. Fulfill the prophecy, he urged. The instant Rick held the weapon, his eyes widened. There was an electric charge as power thrummed within him. Suddenly, he felt like a knight awakened by a magical calling. Moments later, that feeling vanished when a dragon dropped from the sky and slammed down in front of him. The sword's glow winked out, and Rick looked around in terror. The LARPers had disappeared. Well, 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 the dragon purred like a cement mixer. What do we have here? Rick swallowed. I'm Rick, he stammered. The, uh, Delgath of Daggertail? He desperately wanted to run but his legs refused to cooperate. Then the dragon reared back and roared in obvious frustration. <laughs> and Rick felt a tiny surge of hope. Was the prophecy real? Insane as it seemed, perhaps it was his design to slay a dragon. But when the beast's head swung down again, its hot breath wilted Rick's faith in anything as insubstantial as destiny. It seems you have met the princess I seek, the dragon rumbled. Did she bother to tell you what Delgath means in the language of her world? No, Rick admitted. A Delgath. The dragon explained. Is a momentary distraction. Then its impossibly large grin turned into a snarl. Now guess who Daggertail is.
Thanks for listening. The story you've just heard in this channel are fan-funded. Visit ChillingTalesForDarkNights.com today to become a patron and help us bring radio theater back from the dead. Just click support us. Choose an amount you're comfortable with and become a part of our family today. Just $2 per month gets you immediate access to our patrons area. There, you'll find advanced new releases, our incredible archive of over 300 hours of productions, plus never-before-heard bonus material. Best of all, it's totally ad-free and in HD MP3 format. You get insider updates from our production team, the secret stash of streaming downloadable HD indie films, and you get to experience our patrons only one-on-one -on -one live events, putting you up close and personal with your favorite performers, unscripted and unrehearsed. All of this and more is yours today, and all you have to do is choose your level of support. Go to ChillingTalesForDarkNights.com now and join us as we turn off the lights and turn on the dark.